Oh, five of cups, disappointment. <coughs> there could be a lot of sadness and depression. Something could have happened all of a sudden. It could be a breakup, a shakeup. Something happened and something's caused a lot of disappointment in a situation. Crying over spilled milk right now. Although all isn't lost. All isn't lost. There's still, so, you know, you can still pick up the pieces and rebuild. Okay, a relationship that crashed, okay. The tower really, uh, it is a scary card, okay. Yes, it is a breakup, a separation, divorce, whatever, right. But the tower, I like it because it does come into your life as something unexpected, something shocking, something you don't expect. But it always is a blessing in disguise, you know. So, yeah, maybe there's a disappointment around the situation. But again, the tower is a foundation. It is always... Um, it basically comes in and shakes up or breaks the foundation of a relationship that was crooked or that wasn't built on the right um, uh, uh, on the right principles. Okay, it was a very weak foundation, so it had to crash. You know, the universe must have given you a lot of signs. You know, over and over again, but probably you didn't listen to it, and now um, the universe has come and smacked you on the head and you taught you the lesson. But yeah, there's something that you that's. <clears throat> Very depressing. Could be a loss of some sort. But I don't see you walking away. It's just a lot of being very worried and upset about something within the relationship. Something's caused a breakup probably, okay? And it's making you very, very upset. A high priestess. I don't think you guys are talking. Could be someone that you're dealing with or you could be giving someone the silent treatment here, okay? And this could be a situation around a marriage commitment or a long-term commitment. <clears throat> could be someone you've been longing for a commitment for a very long time or someone you wanted stability and security with. But right now you're choosing to keep quiet. You're choosing to trust your gut, your intuition. You're listening to your psychic guidance and you're literally being like the badass. I'm getting someone who's very, very quiet. You've completely uh, probably even cut communication with this person. Tell me more. wanted to come out before also see there's a lot of conflict between you and the person you're dealing with you probably love this person a lot okay with the queen of cups here oh this is someone who loves you okay this is someone very very emotionally this person has unconditional love and uh, someone who could be you could have an age difference with this person but there is something which is causing conflict okay you guys are not on the same page or uh, you have too many people between you guys okay this is arguments bickering uh, trying to, uh, you know, co constant fighting, constant fighting, okay? Small, small arguments, okay, which are leading to disaster. See, she wanted to come out, the Queen of Cups, yeah. But there is someone here who loves you very, very much, Gemini, or this could be you, could be a water sign who's in love with you, okay? But this person is giving you the silent treatment because they're very, very upset with you. You could be having a lot of remorse, regret around the situation, okay? But the issue is only because, see, and now you're wanting to step up the game. <coughs> oh, this is someone who wants to step up the game, okay? Now someone's coming in to boss up and take control of the situation here with the emperor here. This is structure. This is routine. This is someone who wants commitment. Someone who's dead serious about you. So, Gemini, either you're serious about someone or they're serious about you. But definitely the queen of cups and the emperor here. Not really a good match because they're very contradictory, okay? This one thinks logically, they, do, they suppress their emotions. This one's only about emotions and not logic, okay? Very contradictory and that's where the five of wands, say. But this queen of cups is definitely trusting her intuition. This could be you, Gemini, or the person you're dealing with. I'm getting, Gemini, that there has been a tiff between you guys. There has been a breakup or whatever. There has been a timeout between you guys, okay? And someone's taken their time with the hangman here, okay? And now someone's had... A new perspective towards you, okay? Or you're having a new perspective towards someone, a change in view and trying to see things from the other person's point of view. So there could be a considerable amount of break of no action between you guys, okay? Like literally no talking. You may feel that this person's keeping you stuck or keeping you, ho keeping you on hold. You may feel stuck. But honestly, that pause is needed. Maybe you were resisting this pause button. But it's like a forced break between you guys because a lot of thinking has got to be done. Otherwise, the tower moment is going to keep occurring, keep occurring, keep occurring, okay? And literally, you learn your lessons, see? <coughs> there is someone finally who is cutting through the bullshit and then coming in with clear communication. Someone wants a reconciliation with you. 
maybe the other way of looking at it is maybe that there is someone you're dealing with or this could be you who's put in their boundaries okay with the emperor here someone's now thinking very logically maybe this is the same person who's thinking very emotionally first and now they're thinking very logically and then trying to take control of the situation and that's something that you know is like keeping that has forced you to change your mind towards them or forced you to change your viewpoint towards this relationship and now you're coming in with clarity with the king of swords okay you want mental clarity and you want to clear the air between this person but now you're both on the same page with the emperor and the king of swords you know they're both logical people <coughs> This person setting their boundaries up. They're no more wanting to think logically. They they have the love for you, but they're going to withdraw that love unless and until you come. You you know you you um, share the same goals with them. And I think you're you're wanting to share the same goals with them, or this is someone coming in to communicate that they want to be with you on the same page, probably. Yeah, eight of wands. <clears throat> A lot of quick communication coming in after this period of stagnation. There's going to be a lot of communication back and forth. There's going to be, um, could be traveling. Okay, this could be someone who wants to travel towards you and you're waiting. Whilst you're waiting, you're probably, like I said, right, you're shut down. You're thinking of whether you still want to invest into this connection or not. Okay, because this is like an, a connection that you've invested for a very long time into. You've come into the seven of pentacles. Okay, you're just three pentacles away from the ten of pentacles. That's how I see it. So you're not very far from that stability and commitment. Okay, but now for you, it's like you know what? I've given a lot. Now I'm gonna wait and watch. Is this worth it? Should I invest my time? You know that re-evaluating the entire situation. Like, okay, bro. Now we need to pause. Now I need to see. Do I need to put in more work? Do I need to put in more effort? Is the effort only from my side? Is there anything happening from the other side? Is this relationship literally going to come into fruition or is this just going to stay where it is? Am I just wasting my time, etc.? But <clears throat> it doesn't look like you're going to waste your time because this king of swords is coming in towards you with clarity. They're ready to step up their game. They're ready to boss up. <clears throat> Ace of Cups, this person wants a brand new beginning with you in love. Okay, someone wants a renewal in love with you, Gemini. Looks like you guys were on a break, okay? And they've taken their time to think about this and now they want a renewal in love. They're ready to open up emotionally towards you. But with the five of swords, your issue is that you feel the need to stand up for yourself. Or you've already walked away, anything, anything. It can be anything, okay? We have the five of cups, we have the five of swords. That's a lot of strife, but that's also um, <clears throat> walking away. That's being sad, right? That's feeling isolated. So I feel you've walked away. Because this person probably constantly, we have three fives, five of cups, five of wands, five of swords. Just don't have the five of pentacles here, but yeah. It's that isolation, that feeling of being left out, okay? Like you're fed up and tired of fighting with this person again and again. Probably every single time this person comes into you and you feel things are going to work out with you guys and it just doesn't, okay? It just something happens and you always need to stop and reevaluate the situation. Like, okay, is this the same story again? Am I repeating the same story? Is this the same negative pattern? Because you guys just don't seem to get on the same page. Either there are too many people around you that you need to constantly fight, or it's just both of you who are constantly conflicted in your own head, okay? But one person is definitely very, very shut down here, and this person's giving you the silent treatment, or you could be giving them the silent treatment. The other person is coming in with clarity. They want full speed, you know, they want forward moment quick progress okay they could be traveling towards you but they want this brand new beginning in love say after this period of break i think when this person comes in you're going to keep things on hold or they're keeping things on hold <clears throat> could be because you think this person's being still being sneaky or they're trying to get away you don't trust this person gemini or you're pro probably trying to manipulate the situation whatever i'm just going to keep saying the energies of the cards you can take it how it resonates but to me I think you're keeping things on hold. I'm trying to see things. I mean, I'm getting that waiting and watching because there's a lot of uncertainty around the connection. You just don't know what to do. Maybe it's the need is to work strategically or, you know, maybe you're trying to suppress your emotions. You're not being very honest about your emotions, Gemini. Six of Swords. I think, Gemini, you're wanting to walk away. <clears throat> you know what I'm getting? One person's wanting to walk away or just move on. You know, probably they have the clarity that they need and they're wanting to move on. 
and one person is coming in and rushing in to communicate. The Knight of Swords, King of Swords. See, because there's so much communication that's coming in, right? But there's one person you know, with the Six of Swords here. Either this person is wanting to move towards you, Gemini, with clarity, with all this clarity here. Or Gemini, this is just you. Even though you're getting the clarity, you're still wanting to move forward. Because probably it's like, you know what, I know what I need to know. Because it's tough, right? You probably, uh, either you are, this is you, the Queen of Cups, who's just given and given and given to this relationship uh, to a point of exhaustion. You don't feel appreciated and you've just forgotten to love yourself. And this time you're loving yourself and you're putting these boundaries to this person, you know? And now that you're putting those boundaries, you know, this person's coming in with communication. They want this new beginning in love with you. They want to open up emotionally. But that's keeping you in a spot where I don't know what to do kind of thing, you know. All you want is clarity. You, they want to probably get out of this rocky waters. They want to get out of this tension, ease the tension and move towards you. They're coming in with that communication after having that hermit, okay, after being in that hermit mode. So, yeah, someone's definitely ghosted you and probably that's what's giving you so upset, right? Like, dude, seriously, you're probably dealing with someone, Gemini, who keeps ghosting you, okay? Every time life hits them hard, they have they feel the need to ghost you completely, you know, or just, just, there's just like nowhere available you know and you're like what the hell happened now now what did i do you know it probably literally forces you to think about did i do anything wrong what did i say what is the last thing i said you know and it just constantly keeps you conflicted in your head this person keeps you confused you don't know where you stand in this person's life you know and it's like really tough you know and you're getting fed up of it day by day <clears throat> give me the outcome for gemini for this week of december 2020 what is the outcome for gemini for the week of December 2020. What is the outcome for Gemini? They definitely want to open up. Things are going to move in too fast, okay? But again, there's something that needs to be thought out. You feel the need to keep things on pause. You don't want to rush in like always. What's the outcome for Gemini this week? Knight of Swords. See, that's what I'm saying. They're coming in to communicate. They're rushing in. Unexpected communication, okay? They're going to confront you. More than confront, I'm getting more like they're going to talk to you about this, okay? With the hermit here. They've had a lot of time to research. They've had a lot of uh, time for that introspection. Maybe this person feels uh, more comfortable when, they're in, their, when they're, they're in their shell, okay? They don't feel the need to confront you. They don't feel the need to come towards you and, you know, open up. Some people are just like that, okay? They probably don't want to, um, they'd rather feel safer rather than be in an uncomfortable position, okay? Rather than be confronted with you or talk about the problem. But this is what you're doing, Queen of Wands. You're doing you. There is an age difference here, I feel, for sure. You're dealing with someone who's very in and out, in and out of your life, someone who's very, very bad at communicating. Okay, see there, we have the five here now. Finally, we have the four fives here. <clears throat> I don't know if you're going to entertain this person and give this person another chance here because they're coming in. They're coming in wanting this new beginning here, but I think you're the one who's keeping things on hold this time because you've given enough to this relationship, right? You have, and you're trusting your intuition and your intuition probably says to either stay away and move on or you're just probably without even closure, probably you're just wanting to move on because I'm getting more like enough is enough and this is you who's wanting to pursue what makes you happy, okay? This is the go-getter, right? I don't think you give a shit to this person anymore. I don't think you really care about the communication that's coming in. It's like, I don't give a shit about the clarity. I have the clarity that I need and I'm moving on. Honestly, seriously, that's what I'm getting. They're coming towards you, but you, it's like for you, it's like I've had it. Enough is enough. It's high time I, I choose myself and I love myself first. That's what I have. Seriously, because you have your guards up. You have your boundaries up, okay? You're dealing with this situation with a lot of logic, Okay. And a very balanced situation was this person is also coming in with logic towards you. But I don't know if you want to buy this. Not saying that this person is uh, lying to you, but we did see the seven of swords here, which means this could be one of their in and out, in and out patterns, you know. Well, they, they come in, they screw up and then they leave. Again, they realize something, they feel guilty, they come in, they screw up, they leave. And for you, it's like, dude, I mean, how long is this going to go on, right? There has to be an end somewhere. And I think this is what it is. Don't really think you're walking away, ending the relationship. But I think temporarily you're choosing to walk away because you need some peace of mind, okay? You need that peace of mind. And your peace of mind is probably moving away from the situation or this person to get your head clear, you know, and to know what you're exactly doing. You want to find that peace within yourself. But they're coming in for sure. 
So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.